Kiora and hello to Ollie's Toy Box. Today's story is called Brian the Smelly Bear. Smell something smelly. Woof! And it's a book written by Mark Chambers. Ollie's Toy Box. Brian was once a very old smelly bear who ponged out the wood when his stench filled the air. But now he smells nice and all fresh and clean. He can walk past his friends and they don't turn green. Brian loves a good wash with bubbles and foam and then a nice brush with a big wooden comb. He'll snooze in the shade until lunch and then tea. <gasps> Life's great, fantastic and brilliant, said he. But then a slight whiff. <gasps> it went past his nose. It was awful and foul, just like stinky toes. Was it rotten eggs? Was it dirty socks? Or maybe it was a smelly old fox. What is that stink? Brian shook his head. I've got to find out, the old bear said. So he looked under rocks and up in the trees. Oh, that smell is disgusting. Oh, it's worse than old cheese. He called out to Frog. What's that smell? Frog shrugged. No idea. Brian sighed. Oh, well, I'll keep on looking. I'll sniff it out. It's worse than a skunk or a bucket of trout. Oh, he followed that stench all over the wood, looking high and looking low wherever he could. Then suddenly, just from past the next tree, came a sweet little voice. Are you looking for me? There stood a bear with an incredible smile, but she smelt so bad you'd run a mile. She and her friends waved at Brian and he waved back too. My name's Briony, she said. How do you do? You smell just scrumptious, she said with a sniff. Why, thank you, he said. But what is that whiff? I thought you might like it, Briony Bear said. I think I'd rather you smelt of mouldy old bread. Don't be silly, she said. Can I give you a kiss? <gasps> Brian covered his mouth. I think I'll give it a miss. That smell is too much. I'm so sorry, he said. And then Brian ran to hide by a tree. Brian, he stood there confused, unable to move. She cried to her friends. <gasps> Brian didn't approve. I bathed in some rubbish to try something new. But her friends interrupted. Why? You should be you. So Bryony hatched a new plan to win Brian's heart. She would ask her kind friends to make her once again smart. What rabbit got a bucket and hedgehog found a brush. And the mice picked some petals to make her smell lush. This is lovely, she said whilst having a shower. The animals keep scrubbing until she smelled like a flower. They washed her and they brushed her getting rid of the weeds and cleared the mud from her ears with a nice fluffy weed. <laughs> Just one last little thing before she could go. A little white chasey daisy chain tied up in a bow. That's better, they said, and we think you'll agree. Oh, thank you so much. I now feel like me. Now, Briony smells great, fantastic and nice, of lovely things like sugar and spice. And Brian thought, wow, what a beautiful bear, no longer walking around with weeds in her hair. So it just goes to show, whoever you are, just be yourself and you'll shine like a star. Welcome to Ollie's Toy Box. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.